Finally today, we look at how one function of sleep may be the clearance of toxic waste byproducts through a newly discovered drainage system in the brain. Sleep is a great mystery. A trait shared across animal species, sleep must be of vital importance to survive natural selection pressures to eliminate such a vulnerable state. Indeed, cringe-worthy experiments have shown that keeping animals awake long enough can be fatal within 11 to 32 days. It turns out sleep is of the brain, by the brain, and for the brain. One function of sleep that has been elucidated in recent years is the clearance of toxic waste byproducts through a newly discovered drainage system in the brain. Well, today we know sleep may help the body clean the brain. Until 2012, we thought that the brain was singular among organs for recycling nearly all of its own waste. It had to, since it was separated from the rest of the body by the blood-brain barrier. But the barrier that keeps toxins out of the brain presumably keeps toxins in. Then, in 2012, a brain-wide fluid transport network was discovered, termed the glymphatic system. By microscopically tracking dye injected in the brains of mice, scientists discovered fluid-filled tunnels surrounding blood vessels in the brain. The pressure wave of arterial pulses with every heartbeat milks the fluid along before eventually draining into the cerebrospinal fluid surrounding the brain. What does this have to do with sleep? The whole system is only really active when sleeping. During wakefulness, these tunnels are clamped down, reducing lymphatic flow by 90%. The thought is the fluid shifts might interfere with targeted neurotransmitter chemical communication in the awake state, so the biological need for sleep may reflect the need for the brain to enter into a state to filter out potentially neurotoxic waste products like beta amyloid, which is implicated in Alzheimer's disease. 